Senior ministers are backing Anastasia Palaszczuk as her popularity dives to its lowest level since being elected Premier. It comes as the New South Wales government accuses Queensland of bludging off them and not doing enough for its own economy. Tegan George explains. The state's origin on show our original divorce papers, if you like, from New South Wales. The beginnings of that sense of being a Queenslander. But the latest news poll shows that the Palaszczuk government is facing its own almighty battle. Labor's primary vote has dropped three points down to 38% behind the LNP's 40. But if just the two parties faced off tonight, the government would still get across the line 51% to the LNP's 49. Is there a news post today? Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, well, you can believe me that I don't uh, watch the polls. As for who Queenslanders want as their captain, Anastasia Palaszczuk is still the preferred Premier, but her popularity has plunged six points to 44%. Any stories that suggest uh, that uh, we have any alternative to Anastasia Palaszczuk, I think is laughable. But unfortunately, what I don't see is uh, Queensland beating in, winning the economic state of origin. Respondents were quizzed before the release of last week's budget, so it's yet to be seen if that's inspired any confidence in voters. The New South Wales government has also taken a dig, claiming it's been stripped of $10 billion in GST revenue because Queensland can't manage its own economy. No, I don't think the people of New South Wales should be punished. Uh, for them not taking difficult decisions. But the idea that New South Wales um, has to help us with anything really is a, is a bit of a cheek. Not as much cheek as Mike Baird had calling his fellow Premier on live radio. <laughs> oh Hi, you've called Anastasia. I can't take your call at the moment. <laughs> Anastasia, we got one message for you. Go those mighty blues. <laughs> Tegan George, 10 Eyewitness News.